Hey there YouTube, it's Gundude73 making a redo of my ZT-0350 composite blade video. I am re I'm gonna be taking this knife apart and reassembling it on camera. This is the fourth time I am filming this. So I hope and pray and I get it right. So first off, the knife um had some issues before. There was some blade play. And basically what I'm gonna do with this knife is disassemble it reassemble it for you guys show the inside parts all that jazz um, so basically this knife as you can see the spring in this is active it's perfectly fine I mean the first when I was doing the first video that's when the spring was kind of goofed up so what you're gonna want to do when you're reassembling a torsion bar knife is you want it right about there you do not want any and I mean any whatsoever pressure on that torsion bar because it will screw your day up because when you take this knife apart, that spring will just want to fly out. It'll hurt someone. I mean, I actually did that once. And um, the, the torsion bar probably sprung and it went like 10 feet away from me. I wasn't wearing any safety glasses at the time. And uh, I was pretty just like, you know, I was just sitting there sort of dumbfounded like I dodged a bullet right there. Holy crap. So from now on, I make dead sure that I'm not doing anything wrong. So basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm just loosening all these little screws. Nothing too hard here, guys. Um, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Not too hard. And um, I'm going to swap out my T5 for my T8 again. I'm going to be taking off this pivot screw completely. Now this knife should just pop off if I've loosened everything. Nah, need a little bit more loose. Need a little bit more uh, to loosen these screws a tad bit more. Take a little English off them. <laughs> and, uh, that should do it. So, there we go. Yay! So the knife is now disassembled. We're going to want to leave this part, you know, when you're replacing a torsion bar or anything, this part of the knife is, uh, you don't do anything with it. You could, what I did in one of my previous takes was I cleaned this, and what happened was I had a lot of blade play when I reassembled this knife after the first retake, and I was telling uh, John, J. Davis 82 about it, and he said that in his experience, what'll happen is when you're reassembling the knife, there might be a little oil on the tang or on the lock bar face, and you should clean that off. I said, hey, I'll look when I take it apart. Look at all the crud that was on my lock bar face and my tang, guys. It's a whole bunch of crud. And um, it remedied the blade play. So, J. Davis 882 knows his stuff. So, if he gives you guys advice, take it. So, this is the scale here. I'm just going to take it apart again. And basically, um, there's a few parts here. Some body screws that I just took apart. This is the backspacer. You can see there's a little slot cut in there. That's what anchors the torsion bar. You'll be seeing that in a little bit. And then the torsion bar just comes off. Come, this whole side here comes apart like a little uh, knife sandwich. This liner is um, pretty, I guess there's a good spot milled out. Same as on the blade side. You can see that big old slot cut out. The knife still wears a bunch though. These liners are very thick and they're still pretty... Uh, substantially even though they are cut out a little bit now when you're reassembling this knife um, you could put some grease in there with the torsion bar is I don't have any grease with me so I can't put any in there makes enough sense right so basically what we're gonna do is just uh, let's see here bam we're just gonna want to reassemble everything honky dory now arguably reassembly is the hardest part of putting a knife back together. So as I was saying before, you can see this little channel cut out right there where the torsion bar hangs out. We want to match up that channel with the channel in the backspacer. I'm going to be reassembling this right easy. So what I want to do is just line up the holes in the backspacer where the screws go in with the holes in the handle so I can just re, uh, re put everything back in, reassemble this bad boy. So, um, let's do that over here, make it easier. Uh, 
That should do it. Ugh. Some of this is just really tedious work. I mean, you have to get it fit in right. Exactly right. I mean, there's no half assing this, so to speak. You either do it right or you don't do it at all. And I'm trying to think. It could be because the torsion bar is in a funny spot. There we go. So what was just giving me a little bit of grief was the torsion bar had moved to a point where it wasn't allowing me to uh, to insert these screws correctly, but it looks like I should be able to now. And will I? Sorry if this is out of frame, guys. I mean, it's the fourth time I'm doing this video. That's dedication. Yay! So you can see that that screw went in. Now they're all going to be easier. So famous last words. So we want to make sure to put this last screw in the screw hole, not the lanyard hole. So now this scale is all nice and reassembled. So now we're going to bring back our knife frame over here. And what we're doing is a couple things. The first thing I'm trying to do when I'm reassembling this bad boy is to line up this hole here with the pivot. And then what I'm also going to be doing is lining up this nub up here with this hole in the blade. I'm just going to show you guys because it's too hard to explain. I'm going to show you this. You can see this hole right there, right next to the washer. That hole is where the uh, torsion bar seats in the blade. And what I'm doing when I'm reassembling this is I have to put pressure on this because I have to have it at the same way I opened it. I have my finger on the back here holding the pivot so it doesn't want to uh, uh, become disengaged or anything. And so now uh, you, gotta, you really do want to be careful not to cut yourself when you're doing this, which you could do. But um, I'm just going to get my scale all honky-dory there. So now we pick the knife back up, keeping pressure on everything, and I'm just going to want to line up everything. This is the part that gives me the most grief, so here we go, is that it? No. Trying to see. That torsion bar doesn't look like it wants to. Doesn't want to catch. So I am just going to take. See if this will fit in there. I just moved the torsion bar a little bit with my uh, Torx bit driver. Usually it catches right about there. I'm not not sure what the deal is. It could just be that, um, I mean, there's a lot of give and take with this. I mean, you really just do have to, uh, you have to get everything honky-dory, basically. And there we go. Now, the handle's not fine. Not heavy enough. Oh, no. What you have to do right now is, um, you line everything up, and uh, there you go. So right now everything's good to go. I just want to push these screws in ever so slightly. These are now holding the knife together, barely. <laughs> and um, I'm just going to open this, actually. So right now, I mean, the knife is pseudo put together. Um, much faster than my last three times. I guess I'm getting better at this. So basically I'm just going to want to reinsert this pivot screw uh, as long as I can, as far I should say, as I can just get it down by my fingers. And now what I'm going to do is just um, tighten all these little body screws up. One at a, not one entirely at a time. I sort of get them all down to nearly the same level. Whoa. And the torsion, not torsion bar, the Torx bit is still there. I guess that's gun dude proof. So basically, I mean, this knife is, it's easy to take apart, in my opinion, compared to other knives with the blur. 
the blur is a total nightmare to reassemble because um, you can see on this, the backspacer sort of holds everything together when the knife is um, being reassembled. The blur has individual standoffs. There's no backspacer. So it's a total pain in the butt to get everything lined up, and it takes a while until you get good at it. When you get good at it, it's probably going to be really easy. So the last part of reassembly here is just tightening this pivot down to a point where you're comfortable, where the knife you feel is um, a nice balance between ease of opening and tightness, all that. I am probably over-tightened it, and I way over-tightened it. So once you get to a certain point, and retightening the screw, any little bit makes a difference. So, still too tight. There we go. Bing. So that's how you do it, guys. My points, tips for reassembling the blur, not blur, the O350. Um, assemble your front scale first. You know, get that torsion bar and all these screws and the backspace are all lined up properly. Um, when you're usually, in my experience, the blade wants to catch the uh, the uh, torsion bar right about there. So um, if you're holding the knife, if it's like this, and you're trying to get that torsion bar seated, which is arguably, in my opinion, the hardest part, just close the knife, and you can look at it from the side, and you'll see that little nub of the torsion bar just catch in the hole where it's supposed to catch. And then once you got that, once you're at that point, you're golden. And um, like I said, there's no blade play on this knife, which is odd because when I had it, originally there was some side to side, but um, that's just the torsion bar rattling in there. That's not the uh, blade. So nice and solid. It's awesome. Thanks much, John, for the tip. And um, in terms of Loctite or Teflon tape, you guys could do that. I have not really experienced any loosening issues on any of these, um, in my experience. Some people might, though. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know that I did. I'm very glad that I'm done with it. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the views. I hope you found this entertaining, informational, and uh, I hope John found it in, in uh infotational entertainment and information because it was his request so thanks for watching guys i appreciate the views thanks for sticking in there this is my longest video so far and i'll see you in the next video bye